Hey guys, it's Rai Rai here, and today I have a Battlefield 4 video for you, and we're going to be discussing the squad order system, the squad command system. And it's one of the most underused and, un I believe, underappreciated systems in Battlefield 4. It's not used by a lot of players. You barely see squad leaders and uh, uh, commanders uh, using it a lot. And really, if you don't use it and don't utilize it, you're leaving a ton of points on the board in Battlefield 4. It's also a great way to communicate with teammates and just enrich the overall Battlefield 4 experience. Now, what I'm going to be showing you here is a quick tutorial showing you how to utilize the system, how to use it, as the, and then well as go into some video and talk about the benefits of using this system. So let's go ahead and give you a quick tutorial right now. Okay guys, so here I am on Dawnbreaker. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of when you press the right shoulder button, kind of the options that come up. So uh, you'll see I have several different options here, including down here in this area where you can request different things from your commander. So if I go to request order, I actually re request an order from my commander for him to give me an order at one of the objective points. Now I can always send my squad to any point by saying attack or saying, you know, a defend on that one right there, uh, or basically by pointing it and just tapping your, your button. Now, if you're a squad leader, you want to do this. You want to utilize the system because you're leaving points on the board if you don't. Your squad is able to go ahead and attack uh, or defend objectives. Really what I do and how I use it, if I see two or three of my squad mates, let's say, heading over to Alpha, I'll simply tap Alpha, and that way I know by those little green markers around it. They're, they're attacking or defending that objective point, and thus they're going to get me extra points and get themselves extra points as well. You're really leaving a lot of points on the board if you don't Just utilize the system. The now, when you're working with a commander and a commander on your team, as you see here, you can request an order, a scan if they have, uh, or a, a scan if they have the, UA, uh, the UAV capabilities available. Supply for them to drop supply crates, uh, you know, communications for them to talk to you. Vehicle uh, if they have a vehicle drop. So all kinds of different things you can uh, request from them, and it'll pop up on their menu. Uh, to do it. I usually like to say orders, hey, give me an order, and we'll try to go to that one. Now, on the flip side of that coin, if you're the commander and you got a squad that's working with you and a squad leader that's requesting orders, you can go ahead and pretty simply, uh, you know, go there, uh, you know, tell them where to go or what objective to accomplish or attack or defend and then they simply, when you do that, you'll bring your wheel up here. If you're a squad leader, you'll see it say, um, instead of attack defend, it'll say accept order or deny order down at the bottom of that. So just some of the different things you can utilize the system for uh, when you're playing with NPCs, when you're playing with a, a, a commander, or you're playing a squad leader. Definitely want to use this system, use it wisely, use it well, and use it often because you're going to be able to get a lot more points, work better with your team. And by doing so, you're going to, uh, you know, just play better as a team, as a squad leader overall. So I hope that tutorial helps you guys out. Now, one of the things you'll notice in these clips um, I'm posting here is that I was actually with a commander in the game who was giving me as a squad leader commands and, and orders as to which objectives to go for. Now, whenever you see a squad order come up, basically you hold on the Xbox One, uh, for example, you hold that right shoulder button and you'll get that little order wheel, the command wheel up. And from there, you can either accept or deny the order that they give you, as well as you can also do things like request a scan, request a vehicle drop, request certain items that the commander can provide, uh, request an order if you, if you want. So there's a lot of ways you can utilize this system to communicate with someone who might, let's say, being playing uh, on an iPad or a tablet uh, device uh, in a, as a commander. So it's a great way to communicate with a commander and then again, get those extra squad bonus points. You see here as I as these things play, when, when you or your squad mates do something uh, in regard regards to the objective you're trying to hold or defend or attack, for example, you get extra squad order bonus points, whether that be getting kills, uh, capturing a flag, doing different things in the designated area is going to cause you guys to get extra points. So as you see the little blue uh, markers flash around an objective, that's actually the order I'm getting from the commander. And then I'm going in, getting up my, my pinwheel, 
or that squad command wheel and accepting the order. Now, if you're not doing this, guys, you're losing a ton of points on the battlefield. Even if it's just you and a couple buddies in a squad, if you're not just designating the squad, uh, you know, a, a mark for your squad to go to, then you're just leaving a lot of points out there that you could have. And those points add up and total up to quite a bit of points, it, you know, when it's all said and done. Now, I'm big on using the squad system. I love being the squad leader, so I can go ahead and just basically look at an objective, tap a button, and do it. Now, a couple tips I have for using this squad order system. Use it to also not just you know, order, uh, you know, objectives, but also to communicate with players. If you're low on ammo, go ahead and use that need ammo, uh, you know, uh, uh, squad uh, selection and use that to hopefully someone get you, you know, some ammo or, or do things like that to, to kind of communicate with, with uh, other players on your team. It's just an easy system to use and it's great to communicate uh, with other players. Uh, also, one of the things I like to do is if I'm a squad leader, and let's say my squad is over off capturing Alpha and I'm defending Bravo, but I see they're, they're having a, a big battle over there at Alpha, well, let me just go ahead and click on Alpha, mark that objective. That way, when they're over there, if they pick up a couple kills or capture a flag or do whatever it is that's going to earn them points, they're also earning you points too for squad order followed. So it's it's important to do this uh, type of system and utilize these features of Battlefield 4 to just get extra points and level up that much faster and make it an all uh, all over enriched experience. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Rai Rai. Take care.